Hi guys and welcome to I think episode 8 of the desk project series. This is a bit of an update especially since Ryzen is now out and I now have a 1700X that I technically don't have to review but uh, do have to do something cool with so I suppose this is kind of it. If you haven't seen any of the videos in this series so far then I do highly recommend you check them out if you're a new subscriber and you're just seeing this video pop up in your feed then feel free to take a look at the overall project. It was a lot of fun to make and uh, it's actually pretty cheap to make obviously not the component themselves but the actual desk itself is actually pretty cheap to make if you want to make your own and relatively easy I did it with next to no skills so if you fancy doing that then feel free to take a look at the full series I'll link a card up above in the description down below but uh yeah, let's take a look at the parts. So the first thing that I'm actually going to be changing up is actually the CPU. This is an AMD Ryzen 1700X. The reason I'm going for this one over, say, the 6700K that is in there right now, and that's the main thing that I'm changing anyway, is because this one is obviously 8-core 16 threads and considerably faster on video editing workloads, which is actually what I spend most of my time doing on this PC anyway. Uh, unfortunately, because of the last video with the unexpected failure, uh, I'm now using this uh, PC with two uh, sort of of Windows user accounts. Um, I'm using this PC for both gaming and general, you know, relaxation and video editing and work as well. So after quickly installing the CPU in the ASUS Crosser 6 Hero board that I'm going to be using for this, uh, and the reason why I'm using that one, by the way, is one, I don't have any sponsor limitations at the moment, and two, because this is the only motherboard that lets you install an AM3 cooler on an AM4 motherboard. It's actually really nice for that. It means that I can leave the Cooler Master Neptune 120XL in that uh, in the rig uh, just ready. And and just switch out the motherboard and the graphics card. Speaking of the graphics card, the reason I'm switching this one out is one, because, you know, color scheme, I'm installing an ASUS motherboard, and ASUS are letting me keep this 1080 with the, the new 11 gigabits per second memory, so that one's pretty nice. Uh, it's obviously going to be, in theory, a little bit faster than the standard 1080 extreme gaming that I have in there, and of course, if clock speeds don't match, I can just overclock this one as well, so that's also pretty nice, but uh, I'm also thinking about ins uh, connecting the RGB LEDs to the motherboard and using ASUS Aura to sync them all up, and then I can leave the LEDs in the case off if I want to, but then obviously have these on and that sort of stuff. So hopefully the syncability is also gonna be a quite nice feature. So let's get into it. See, this is the mounting method that I want all coolers to adopt. A back plate that you screw on before goes in the case with actual screws that actually hold it in. Then that way when, inevitably, you can't quite reach around the back of your PC or whatever, it's just already done, it's already here, it's already easy, and you don't have to worry about the back plate anymore. This is, this is what I want from coolers. This, my friends, is what an idiot looks like. Um, I uh, basically ended up putting the system too close to the edge of the table and means that to be able to install rear I.O. cables, I have to do this. Also, I went under the table and ended up getting something in my eye which made my eye swell up, and that was a lot of fun too. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was fun. <laughs> so, moment of truth time. This is uh, the system built, and hopefully it all works and doesn't explode in my hand and kill me. Good luck. Hey! Oh god, it's dusty in here. Whew. Pretty. 
One quick BIOS update later and uh, a little bit of Overclockers UK product placement and god isn't she pretty. I really do love the LEDs around the edge and especially connected to the motherboard and synced up and especially once I actually synced up the graphics card it looked uh, pretty pretty. Here's some more glamour shots. So this is it, it is now redone. Now, I'm still gonna overclock the CPU just a little bit, probably about to four gigahertz on all cores, uh, although I will need to have a play with that. Um, so I'm gonna do that one first, and then I'm gonna benchmark it and show you the results. So uh, I suppose uh, without further ado, let's overclock and benchmark. So I think that's pretty much it. As you've seen, it's a pretty awesome system. I am really looking forward to having the extra cores and threads available for the uh, you know video editing kind of stuff, especially the After Effects graphs for CPU and GPU uh, reviews. Those are really difficult to work with, so I'm really glad to see that uh, happening. Obviously, this is uh, you know it couldn't happen without ASUS and AMD providing the motherboard and uh, CPU for this one and the graphics card. And of course, uh, thank you to Coolmaster, Kingston, Seagate, uh, Pexon PCs, and add-on customs for all the parts previously as well. So uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of that really. I um, hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative and especially if you are going to build your own desk, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and of course subscribe. And also if you want to check out any of the parts, I'll leave a full list of everything that I'm using in the links in the description down below as well. Other than that, uh, I'll leave some other videos over this side for you and of course the subscribe button probably right around where I am. Uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.